Has someone called you a deadbeat dad? Hi, my name is Mark Joseph, and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And you're here to find out if you or someone you know is a deadbeat dad. What is a deadbeat dad? Well, in my experience practicing family law here in Florida, the deadbeat dad title typically is bestowed upon a person who is not there for their child or children, whether it be financially or emotionally. The deadbeat dad is allegedly the person who wants no time with their children, nor do they want to pay for anything with their children. They allegedly don't answer when the mother calls asking for clothes for the kids or when it's time for back to school shopping, they're not around. Or they're all over social media with brand new everything while their children have nothing. Now, I do understand that the title of deadbeat dad gets thrown around a lot. And sometimes it's not the case. Sometimes the father has and tries to give, but it's not enough. Sometimes they don't have to give because they don't work or they're looking for a job. Or even more importantly, sometimes you want to give financially, emotionally, time, energy, and you're not allowed to. Should you still be considered a deadbeat dad? The state of Florida says no. One thing that the statute and the courts in Florida take in consideration is comparing the father who spends a lot of time with their children to the father that spends little to no time with their children. They do that using a formulaic approach called gross up as part of their child support. I have other videos on it. Feel free to take a look at it. But I wanna focus on the financial aspect a little bit. The state of Florida has in their minds and pursuant to statute, an idea of how much it would cost to raise a child based on a certain amount of income that you make. Now, that may be higher or lower than you or the child's mother may believe it should be. But if you go through court, that's where your number will come from. Also, just know that just because you pay child support does not obligate you to time with the child. Any much so that not paying child support doesn't obligate you with time with your child or children. If the state of Florida is going to do anything, it's going to make sure you take care of those kids financially whether it be through an administrative action or the Department of Revenue coming after you directly. They will make sure you're at least putting money towards these children, which doesn't mean you'll have your rights. So keep that in mind when you decide to have children or when you're thinking about how to move about being in a child's life. In my experience, the fathers who have an opportunity to be in their children's lives are the ones who tend to be happy in the long haul. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching.